Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here today, and today we're gonna to be working on the Grand Sport with Mika. First thing we're gonna be doing is pulling out a bunch of bolts, so that way we can access right here. Let's just jump right into this. You need a T15. Go ahead, loosen these bolts off. Now I'm gonna teach you something. When you go ahead and loosen these bolts off for doing this job, you're gonna notice that you have these little shims right here. And what you wanna do is if you can get them started with your nail, if not, not a big deal. What you need to do though is, I'm uh, probably just gonna go grab my pliers. You wanna grab just the tip of it and pull it out and put it right here. What we're gonna do is line them up so that way they line up with that corresponding screw. That way you know exactly where you pop those shims out of. Those are body shims and if you don't put them there, they won't line up with your trunk's bodywork, which will probably drive you nuts afterwards. So I'm gonna hand break these loose because I want you to see which ones you need to do. Once you've gone ahead, you've taken these and loosened them up, go to that side, do the exact same thing and line them up so that way you're done in the trunk area here. Just separate it like that. See how I'm doing this? Now that you've separated it just like that, little tweezers, just like that. We know this one goes here. And you can even write this down if you're worried. If you have both your hands, you flex right here and then grab the tweezers. That's another way of doing it. So as you're flexing, it makes it a little easier. Now you can see there's just these three right here. Go ahead and pop these three out as well. And as you can see, I want you to see and feel out how tight these are. So that way when you go to tighten these up, you know, you just do them hand tight. Don't go crazy. You don't need a torque spec. Just know that uh, that's how tight they are. Once you get all these screws out, just like that, make sure you put them somewhere safe. Take your flat blade, a little bit bigger. You have to lift this tab. See, I've got my screwdriver underneath it and then wiggle. So lifting, just like that. Slides a little forward, comes out like that. Put this somewhere safe. Next thing to do, one, two, three. Take these three screws out. Make sure this area is clean. If yours is dirty, clean it before you put tape down. But you wanna just go ahead and right along this seam. Chances are, you're not even gonna use this seam for popping anything forward but it's good to have this here. And again, I always make sure that when I do this, I put a couple layers down where I think I'm gonna be prying. Because the last thing you wanna do is go through the first layer of tape and then you're in a whole situation where you got scratches, which sucks. Anyways, you can also do this. The other thing you can always do is Believe it or not, this is another really good pad. You have clean flow rags for doing your oil changes with. You can just simply put this here when we're gonna do it. We're not gonna do that right now. That way you have two protections just in case this slips forward. This is the hard side. I'm gonna show you this side. This will work the exact same for the passenger side, but way easier. Squeeze down, you'll see it starts bowing here. See this, how it's under the window, perfect. Now come down over here, and we need to work that around the window just like that. Now that we've got that open, we can now reach in here to get access to our eight millimeter bolts. Again, this is the hard side. If you want some practice for what your fingers need to do, go to the passenger side first. For this one, two hands, get your hand in here, take your wrench, Slip it in there, loosen it like that. Use this hand to go under the nut. That way, you have a hand to catch it in case you drop it, which 90% chance you're going to. Such a tight space.
Just like that. Do the same for the other side. So this hand to hold out, you can use both fingers now to bring it in. And then right there, you should be able to feel that bolt once again. Just like that. And loosen it up. And then do the second one while you're in there. Check out my arm, you can barely see it coming in here. I found it best to bring it down like this. And then you can reach around from both sides, depending on your forearm. Maybe you're some bodybuilder who won't be able to fit it in here, but this is what I found to be best. I have lit look at this, the, the ultimate trap for these bolts. That's how much I don't want to drop it. By the way, when you're going this way, ratchet that way, pull this way to loosen the nut. Literally did the exact same thing. Just like I said, flex a little bit, slide your hand down this trough. You can get your hand in here, like down here, you're good. And then use this one for stabilizing the wrench and everything else. And then, yeah. Okay, from there, let's see. I'm wondering if I can get this without even doing a pry tool. Okay, that side's out. Let's see, can I get the side too? There. I didn't even need a pry tool. Now, if you do, you would just pry right here. I found it easier just to flex it in. Wow, this vent's dirty up in here. Go ahead, grab Mr. Mop and Mr. Bucket and wash all of this out before we install the new piece. See these? Pretty easy. They can just keyhole in, slide them out, make sure you collect all three of them. And then I'm gonna teach you another little trick before we pop these back in. But anyways, that one was a little bit more dirty. I'm gonna take this, put it off to the side, but hold on to these. Go ahead, slide these bad boys in. You'll notice instantly these fit really loose compared to the other ones. Kinda scary if you ask me. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and slide these buggers in here. And you're gonna wanna be extremely careful because one thing I can already see is there's a lot more room in here. And when we're tightening this on, there's a high chance we could actually make these start moving. Now, the reason why I'm guessing they did that is so that way you can actually pop this in and then slide these in afterwards and lock them in. Uh, I might end up doing that because I'll tell you what, this one's definitely gonna probably get slid in because that one's a little tighter. So for me, I'm gonna be slipping these back in here. I ended up having a defective mold and there's no way I'm going to install that. So we're gonna just go ahead, put that on there, put this right here, put this right here. Now, what I would suggest you do is take a little bit of blue Loctite and just put it right here. Put a little bit right there, a little bit right here, and a little bit right here, just a small line of it. And again, what this is going to allow is for the nut to actually sit here and not fall out later because you're 
got to be very careful with the torque on these nuts. You don't want to put too much pressure on them, but at the same time, if you don't, what can end up happening is the nuts will fall off in here and it happens all the time. A lot of people that pull these off end up only finding maybe two of the nuts because one has already fallen off from factory. This will just fight the vibrations. That's blue Loctite. If you want to, you can go even less than that. I think there's like a yellow and a purple. Um, go down as low as you can go and just add a tiny bit on there. This is only plastic, so you don't want to use, say, red or orange or anything, because if you use those colors, you're never going to get this out and you will break this. Once you've gone ahead, make sure this has a little bit of Loctite if you want to. Just go ahead and line this right up. And if you have a good mold and everything like that, you should be able to just literally sit this in here and press it in. And it clicks in just like that. From there, we can start bending around here and putting those nuts on. Now, again, make sure that this hand or whatever you have you, is holding that nut very firmly for when you slide it in. Let's see if I can give you an example for one of them. Just want to be able to separate it up a little bit. Get it over there and just get it on to the spot there. Being extremely careful. It's be hard to show you on camera, almost no angle, but all you're going to do, this hand has it. This hand's holding up the fender, just like this and bring it in. Might take you a few tries, but once you got it, you got it. There we go. Now you can get your eight mil and get in there and tighten it. This side, same way as you put it on. Just go in here, fingers wrapping around, and remember to turn it that way this time for the nut. And once you do that, do this side. You can even, while that's here, put the next nut in here and go down. Again, brought the nut in through here, just like that. And tighten it that much. Like I said, see I'm barely putting any pressure on this. Do not start cranking on these nuts. If you do, you're going to crack that plastic. So again, back corner in. See how I did that first? Press that down, you gotta do that. And then rest goes in. And then you can smoothen this seal out. You have to get this back corner in first before slipping it out or well in. If you don't, it's you're never gonna get it forward to back. You have to get back to front. Get these front three screws in first. Make sure you're still gonna line up. Yeah, that's good. Check our body lines. Body lines are fantastic. And then right here. Next one's three gas cap screws. Just go in just like so. See these little hooks? There's three little grooves on the back of here. If you follow those three little grooves, this should slide just like that. Make sure the bottom's in there too, and slides in just like that. Go ahead and close it. Best way to get these body shims back in. One, put the screw in super lightly on every one of these. Not too much, I'm going a little crazy already. And then over here, and the last one. Now that you've got this all done out, you can lift this with your finger and put your shims in just around that screw. 
just like that. Go ahead, do the same back here, right here. And if you had one up here as well, go ahead and put the one up here. After you got them all in, tighten them down. That one's in, this one's in, in, and in. Repeat this process to the other side. There's nothing different other than the gas door. So there's no reason for me to waste your time. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks again for watching. Press subscribe if it did, and we'll go from there.